Many players have been experiencing Fall Guys application error, and stating on screen, the application was unable to start correctly. Regardless of the cause, in this guide, I will be showing you how to resolve the error mentioned above so just follow through the given guidelines. Method 1. Run SFC scan. Press Windows key, then type CMD. Now, right-click on Command Prompt, then select Run as Administrator, then choose Yes. At the Command Prompt, type SFC, Scan Now. Scanning will take a few minutes. If SFC finds corrupted files and replaces them, restart your PC and check if the issue persists. Method 2. Turn off antivirus software. If you are using third-party antivirus, I suggest you try disabling it and check if the issue was fixed. Method 3. Allow app through Windows Firewall. Press Windows key, then type Firewall. Next, select Allow app through Windows Firewall. Now, click on Change Settings. Browse through the list of allowed apps and features to see if Fall Guys is included. If not, click Change Settings, click Allow Another App, then follow the on-screen instructions to add FallGuys.x to the Allowed Apps list. Once completed, click OK. Launch the game once again and see if error still throws up. If it's still ongoing, please move on to next method. Method 4. Make sure installed latest Visual C redistributable package. Press Windows key, then type Control Panel and select it from the results. Navigate to uninstall a program. Press and hold, or right-click, on the Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 to 2019. Redistributable x64 and uninstall, then follow the directions on the screen. Once done, you need to restart your computer. When restart done, visit this site and download latest Visual C++ redistributable package, then install it. Finally, run Epic Games Store or Steam as admin and start the game normally. Method 5. Uninstall and reinstall Fall Guys. If you've exhausted all possible fixes but the error still happens, you can reinstall Fall Guys as a last resort. And if still not working, you should uninstall and reinstall Epic Game Launcher. That's it, guys. I assume this guide was helpful to you.